Hi there Capricorn, I hope you guys are doing really well. My apologies for being away from this channel for a bit. Life has been busy but good. Um, yeah, I want to get into a reading for you. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And these messages will not resonate with all of you. If you're a cross watcher, you're more than welcome to be here. Um, let's get into this, okay? So Capricorn, your oracle card, and I know you can't see it up here, but it is the card Orphaned, and it's in reverse, which I think is wonderful. Um, it feels here, and I'm going to read these from past, present, future, but however the alignment is, you know, you apply it as you need it, okay? Um, I feel here that there's been some sort of, in the past, it feels like there's been either a rejection of a plan or a rejection of a situation moving forward. Um, there may have been a lot of talk in a connection to get things moving, or we're going to do this and this and this, or maybe this is even something that if we're not talking or dealing with another person, this could also be a project of our own or some sort of plan to get things up and running in a way that we may have let go of, you know? So either way, what it feels like person or situation here in the past, there is something that had to either be like relinquished or we forgot about it or we abandoned it, which kind of feels the way m most resonant to me. We've abandoned it. And this could be with people who are supposed to be closest to us, you know, um, not for everybody. Some of you, this is just a personal project that you've kind of let go of. Um, here in this present energy, we have the four of pentacles in reverse, which is interesting just because this energy talks about, no longer holding back. It talks about, you know, whatever it's, it's releasing, it's releasing our strong grip on things being immobile, things being shut down. It's opening ourselves up to opportunities that we may have been holding back from or withheld from. Um, and for some of us, we may even need to do certain things with different people rather than the people that we had our mind set on. Um, Moving into the future energy, you have the emperor. This is Aries energy. This energy is very much father energy, husband energy, masculine energy, but it's also an energy, if you're not dealing with a person, it's about structure. It's about your devotion to your personal projects, your direction in life, what you choose for yourself. This is about strategy, structure, dedication, and really just you know, face planting yourself in what you want to do and making the best of it. It's kind of a relentless energy. Um, but I feel here, Capricorn, that you guys are actually really good about that. Um, I do want to say here, there is a shift um, tonight, I believe, actually, we've got Pluto going into Aquarius, a lot of cardinal signs, which you are, um, have been going through a lot of change for these last, you know, 15 or so years. And there's been a lot of unveiling within your lives. And I feel like for some of you, there's an opportunity to reclaim certain situations that maybe you've avoided or maybe you didn't feel ready for. I feel here now you're kind of step. the way I see you is like stepping onto uh, the red carpet in a top hat and coat with a cane. Um, not a walking stick, but like, you know, you look quite dapper. Um, and this does not have to just be male or female. It's anybody, but it feels like, oh, the red carpet's finally rolled out for me to walk upon it. I'm ready. And this kind of, the energy that I'm seeing comes with a sense of assuredness that only happens through maturity. It only happens through looking at something so many times and seeing it in a million different ways. And now we're applying it because we haven't, we just looked at it. So I'm going to get some cards out, but it feels here Capricorn that you guys are taking, making the choice to create things from things that maybe we've either restricted ourselves from or held ourselves back for whatever reason we're no longer abandoning it we're no longer allowing others that maybe have abandoned us in this pursuit or process to affect us um 
And I feel here if that is people or a group of people or some sort of like connection that didn't believe in you, you're saying goodbye to that. You're saying there's an urgency within what I want. And I'm actually going to apply my energy to that because I feel the urgency. I'm going to pay attention to it. And I'm not going to wait for other people to try to play along with me or even catch up to me. If you want to be part of this, then catch up. If you don't, then then stay gone. It's kind of that energy. So let's go ahead and get some clarifiers here for you, Capricorn. Show me the Ace of Wands and the Pals. You have the Ten of Swords, and it's coming out in reverse Capricorn, which is really interesting, just because that can talk about things that have already transpired that were really painful or maybe people just dismissing you or your situation that's done it's over it's had I feel like you've had time to assimilate to this Capricorn I don't feel that you necessarily feel orphaned anymore it's kind of like reclaiming back your energy because you were never orphaned to begin with it's literally just a mindset I know that sounds harsh I was raised by a stoic so <laughs> I'm a little bit harsh I'm a little bit cold in a way of looking at things um it's less about the emotions that drive you through something than it is about just the logic and the reality of a situation. And when you can find that separation in it, I feel that you're able to come to a better sense of self within you just because you're no longer attached to the pain of the thoughts that we're creating. Not to say that we don't have pain, but whatever this is, it's over. We've weeded things out or they've weeded themselves out. And we're giving ourselves the time that maybe we've spent uh, kind of pouring over in other ways with the situation. You have the devil coming through here. Um, that's your energy, Capricorn. Uh, the devil here is very much about... Um, you know, the way that this is presented, I really want to say this is kind of like, especially with that four of pentacles, this is you letting yourself come out. Um, and with the devil, I don't really necessarily feel like this is something to be afraid of. I feel this is more so something to be embraced. This is embracing certain aspects of yourself that maybe you've been shut off to, or maybe you felt like, you know, you didn't want to give attention to. I feel this is like a massively creative uptick and surge for you. Um, I also feel here that this is less about bad things and more about, um, how you honor yourself and maybe you've withheld yourself and here it's like nah let your freak flag fly let yourself be honest and authentic show yourself to the world you know maybe we have certain aspects of ourselves that we've kind of deemed as you know we abandoned them because they weren't going to be societally societally acceptable this is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter Capricorn, you have to be yourself and you have to do what you do. And I feel here through whatever this is, I feel you're going to reclaim something that you have released or ignored or forgotten about. Um, and I feel you find the, uh, it's like refinding passion for these things, refinding passion for certain aspects of yourself. And I feel you're going to delve into these aspects of yourself and nurture the hell out of them because you've ignored them or they've been put on hold because other people have said this isn't right you shouldn't do this you have to be a certain way don't do that thing and it's like you've maybe tried to appease that here you're taking off the gloves you're taking off the mask and you're just going to it feels to be authentically yourself you're going to sit within your own nature Do as that will shall be the whole of the law. It's too many. Give me one for the emperor, please. So for the emperor, you have the king of cups in reverse. The king of cups in reverse is not the best energy. And so while we have the devil on the table, let's talk about self-serving behavior, but let's also talk about um, 
it's one thing to not give a fuck about things and just to do as you will and to just be within your own resonance and trust your process and as long as you're not hurting anybody it shouldn't be an issue here though it's almost as if like with the emperor upright and the king of cups in reverse um you know you could be dealing with a situation where uh, you may emotionally be out of sorts and that needs to be something that needs to be taken into consideration just because we're changing things doesn't mean we don't address the wound that's still buried beneath right um it's very easy for the emperor to bury himself you know female or male bury themselves in work and you know process and just really kind of like put their nose to the grindstone there but if they're avoiding themselves or if they're not taking care of the emotional aspect in themselves that's necessary it's another form of hiding so here with the devil on the table it's really asking for us to embrace all aspects of ourselves. and if we do see that maybe we need more attention to we need to pay more attention to our own internal world our own emotional health the way that we deal with our reactions is it is it to deal with reactions do we just bury ourselves in work do we become obsessive about projects you know because the worry that I have here is that yeah you make it a lot done but also where are you going to be taking it out on yourself is it the king of cups next to the devil and the king of cups in reverse it's almost as if like that is open territory for us to find easy resolve and easy comfort in vices um and i feel here that's something that we need to be mindful of just because in this time frame that you've just gone through these last you know uh with um pluto in your experience this is about the purge this is about purification and if we're still like knocking on old doors or we're still doing problematic situations for ourselves and behaviors for ourselves, like what has actually changed, you know, change the opportunity, change the situation, rely on yourself, but also be real about what needs to change within you. It's not about hiding things from yourself. That is also another aspect of abandoning yourself, orphaning yourself. We ignore the things that need to be seen. We ignore the uncomfortable parts because they, you know, we shouldn't talk about that. It shouldn't happen, but it does. They just deal with it. Um, if you're dealing with people, you may have a situation where there's been a problematic water sign, you know, or an Aries or another Capricorn um, in your life. And I feel here um, you may have a, a resurge or reemergence of somebody here and they may be flailing in their own life or they may just be um trying to win you over in certain ways that are self-serving and i feel here it's important for you to put your foot down and just really like stay uh close to the direction and the um forward movement that you are creating on your own it's not about um it's not about um reintegrating with somebody here especially if they've done you really dirty uh, it's more about finding the pleasure in the things that you engage yourself in and finding the longevity to move forward in those directions, you know, passion projects, new friendships, your health, um, mental, physical health, physical health is a big one here. Um, and also cultivating the friendships that you already have in existence, the ones that have proven to be ride or die, the real friends. Show me an oracle for Capricorn, please. Self-worth. It's coming out in reverse. I'm going to put it upright because it's important here. Gratitude is also at the bottom of the deck. Being grateful for what is. And I feel that that's something that we can struggle with because when things are uncomfortable and ugly and they hurt and they're unfair, why should we feel gratitude for that? Well, it redirects you to yourself. It redirects you to the strength within yourself, your own personal sense of resolve. It redirects you to become more than what you had before, more than what you were before. Um, you know, you fix the ouch, you fix the boo-boo. Like you, 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 you should be the one to do that. You can't rely on other people to do that. And I feel that Capricorn kind of has that experience throughout their life in general. Um, and you do, 
become very good at that, but it's often for other people. And sometimes you can forget about that for yourself. I feel that there can be just like a separation between what you need and what you feel like you need to do. Um, and oftentimes they don't match up. And so you just end up doing and doing and doing, but rarely it can be for your own protection or your own preservation. Um, I'm going to pull one more card. Are we, are we? Give me one second. I'm going to pause this and go get a deck. Hang on. I'm going to go here and get two Oracle cards for you. Okay. So the first one is self-acceptance and it's popping out in reverse and that very much is in alignment with self-worth. Someone's self-esteem is being affected. You're the one that gets to see you in your own truth. That is your responsibility in your life. Okay, no matter what people judge you by or however you feel that others are judging you, it's genuinely with the devil here. Um... It's genuinely about what you feel about yourself, the pride you take within yourself, who you know you are. This is about claiming all pieces of who you are, ugly, bad, good, however you're perceiving them, and trusting that they're there because they're part of you, and they're there for your energy. Happiness in reverse as well. Um, Capricorn, I feel here... I'm leaving purpose here at the bottom of the deck. I know what I'm here to do. I feel here that there's a, again with this King of Cups in reverse, I feel that there's a deep pushing away of the uglier landscape within us. I feel that there is a neglect to want to embrace that ugly little thing inside of us. Um, some of you, this is challenging the narrative that you've experienced throughout your life it is asking for you to rewrite the way that you view and speak about yourself the way that you think about yourself how you portray yourself some of us don't even think about who we are we just exist and we run like little automatons we don't want to be that if you're going to be the emperor then make it effective um what is your purpose? You know, sometimes we don't even find our purpose until we find out who we are, embracing all aspects, remember? That is where we have to, I feel like there's like a self-identity theme in this reading that is very important, especially with orphaned in reverse, the devil, and then self-acceptance, self-worth. I feel here that there's a lot of times that we've given up on ourselves and we're just not standing in our own sense of power and strength. And there's something about us that we feel that we just don't like. We do not accept some aspect of ourself. And so we repress it and we suppress it and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It's like an infection, right? Like <laughs> when you have an abscess, it starts out as a little scratch, right? There's some sort of wound and then we don't notice it and it gets bigger and hotter and bigger and more painful. And by the time like we actually are, our attention is on it, it's about to erupt. And here I feel we have an eruption. We have an interruption by an eruption because now we have to pay attention to things and clean up the stinking mess, but that's there for you. And what happens when you clean up the mess and flush the wound? It heals it regenerates. It's no longer there. A lot of these readings have also been very much about purgative energies. Um, and so, you know, and it, it's interesting because Lobelia itself, this is an herbal deck. Lobelia is an herb, has a lot of, um, a lot of benefits, but one of them is great for asthma. It'll open up the bronchial tubes. When we are restricted with an asthma attack, we cannot breathe. It's almost as if we're fighting for our life. And I feel some of you to live and to exist and to be authentic feels like an asthma attack. It's like suppression and like, can I make it through? Can I do this? And when our windpipes are open, <gasps> I'm alive again. And here, this is an opportunity for you to live <laughs> let the bronchodilator live you know it's it's allowing us to breathe and breathe freely and it's about embracing all aspects of ourselves and if we look at them and we say oh this needs to be healed then do what you can to heal them do what you can to love the orphan child within you because we all have one but it's affecting the way that you view happiness in your life and how you allow happiness into your life <sighs> 
It's affecting the way that you see yourself and how you accept yourself. Your self-worth is everything. Your self-esteem is everything. What is your purpose? A lot of this will fall into place when you align with your purpose and your true self. And a lot of people have a negative association with the devil. I know religion is all over the place. Um, I am not religious. It's just a card. It's just an energy. It's just a, it's just a guideline trope. You know, the devil is about our innermost being that is our base senses, our animalistic side, the things that people don't see. It's our internal world that we hide. It's the shadow, the darkness, the, the disease, the, the impulses, the, you know, addictions. It's all of that stuff. And here we're piecing through it, the wreckage of it, and embracing pieces that need to be given light and fresh breath and like, you know, being brought into uh, focus here, um, to give breath to so they can breathe. This is not about suppression anymore, Capricorn. So, uh, this is longer than any of the other readings and you got more cards for some reason. So we're going to leave it here. And I know this isn't the love reading that everybody wants or whatever. I'm, I do what I do when I do it. And if I'm guided towards something, I'll do it. And it's whatever comes out. So this is your message, Capricorn. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.